guys. Welcome to Pokemon Paragraphs. This class is about just being excited to write about our favorite topic, which is Pokemon. I'm excited to be here with you. Everybody will need your graphic organizer. Here it is on the screen. Please have a copy printed out and ready to work on. We are going to explode a Pokemon moment today, guys. An amazing act in which we take a very tiny detail and we grow it in great detail. So this is writing prompt number two, and I am happy to have you here. We are going to get ready to write. Get ready to write. High five that out there. I know that this is some of your most favorite Pokemons. We like our Eevee. We like our Pokemon. So are we ready to write? High five it. We're ready to write. All right. We are going to explode the moment in a story today. Last week, I talked to you about developing an ultra rare Pokemon. Remember, that was your Pokemon, your most exciting Pokemon you could think of. You gave it special powers. You gave it special skills. You described it with great detail. You told me what it looked like. You told me its size. You told me how it battled. You told me its strengths. You told me its weaknesses. And that is exactly what I wanted. And you did a great job. This pump it. Way to go. So now that you have your ultra rare Pokemon, and remember, my ultra rare Pokemon name was Wego, we are going to take a moment of battle. So you are going to select one specific moment in your battle, and you're going to blow it up as if you're experiencing it in super slow motion. This is going to use all of our senses, and this is going to use all of our details. But remember, we're going to have fun. That's what we're here for, is to have loads of fun. We're writing about Pokemon, our favorite thing. So remember, my ultra-rare Pokemon's name is Wego, and he's amazing. He has fins that shoot fire. So I'm going to give you an example of how to blow up a moment, because it, we always work better when we have some examples. So if I wrote very simply, Wego was ready for battle. He saw the other Pokemon standing. He was ready to try and battle the yellow mouse. We're going to explode that. We're going to use our graphic organizer in a bit. And we're going to explode this moment into something amazing. So here is how I wrote my paragraph. Wego knew he was ready to battle. He was in the forest when he saw the small yellow electric mouse named Pikachu waiting. Wego was so still he could hear the breeze in the trees. He knew this was his moment to be an amazing, ultra-rare Pokemon. He thought, I'm going to use all my electric power to win. Wego looked into the eyes of Pikachu and knew he was going to be amazing. I exploded it, guys. I took a battle moment that was as simple as saying, he saw another Pokemon standing. He was ready to try a battle at the yellow mouse and I blew it up. I blew it in and we talked about details and we're gonna talk about all the things that are happening and it's super sensible. We are going to take a small moment in your ultra rare Pokemon's life and we're gonna explode it into something amazing. Are you ready? All right, I am ready. We are going to do this and we're gonna make an amazing paragraph today. So, writing prompt number three, here it is. You're going to describe your ultra-rare Pokemon's encounter with a wild Pokemon. What are you going to do? Are you going to catch it? Will you battle the wild Pokemon? Or does the wild pokemon run away from you? Watch Pikachu in this battle moment. Whoa, he's super slow motion. He bangs against him and it's super slow motion. That's exactly how we're going to write, in super slow motion. We are going to take one moment in a battle and blow it up just like Pikachu is here in super slow motion. So take a moment, pause the video, think about what you want to happen for your ultra rare Pokemon. So you're going to describe your ultra rare Pokemon's encounter. That means they meet up or they found each other with a wild Pokemon. What will your ultra rare Pokemon try to do? Will he catch it? Will he try to battle this wild Pokemon? Or does the wild Pokemon run away? Are your battling strengths so amazingly strong that you're just going to make that little wild Pokemon run away? 
Okay, how do we do this? Remember back to my paragraph. I had four simple sentences at the beginning. And then I took that and I gave you great detail. Well, how do we do that? Super simple. You're going to put on your writing binoculars. Writing binoculars is just a funny way of saying you're going to really look and you're going to use all of your senses. You have five of them. And you're going to focus on the smallest, smallest, smallest detail you can find at the very heart of your story. And you're going to explode it. You're going to make it big. It's going to be really little. You're going to make it big. You're going to take little pictures chink, 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 called snapshots. And they're going to show. Don't tell me. Show. You're going to paint an amazing picture, and then you're going to freeze it. And it's like looking at a coloring page and all the little details. You're going to tell me all about this one little moment. And you're going to stretch out your sentences with lots of details. All those amazing adjectives you used for me last week, we're going to use them again. You're going to tell me what is happening with words. We're going to use thought shots. These are quotes. They're again going to tell, don't describe. Just like in my story, we go as thinking. He thought, and I use quotation marks. What does it see? What does it want to do? What is your wild Pokemon going to do when it sees the ultra rare Pokemon you created? We are going to use our graphic organizer. Everybody should have this. Don't worry, I am going to walk you through this and we are going to go step by step. First, in the box that says ultra rare Pokemon battle moment, you're going to want to pick one specific battle moment. Here was mine. We go saw Pikachu in the forest. Simple, one little sentence. And now I'm going to explode it. That's my little battle moment. You saw him in the forest. That's so, so big. But we're going to get really small into this in detail. Well, who is there? Okay, we go Pikachu. Where were they? Forest. Now, you can use sentences in these blocks, guys, or you can use simple words like I am, whatever you're comfortable with. If you use a sentence, you're going to find it's easy to write your paragraph at the end. But it's okay to use words. It's okay to actually draw the picture before we even get started to this point. If you want to pause and draw a picture describing in great detail your battle moment, that helps too because you can look at your picture and put it into words. Okay, well, what's happening? We go wants to battle. Pikachu is scared. Wego has great strength. Wego will win. Okay, these are simple sentences, but they're telling me what I want to do. You can write really long sentences. You can write really short sentences. It's okay. It's your paragraph. I have told you before, there's no wrong answer. All right, here in the thoughts box, this is where we're going to put what your Pikachu or your ultra rare Pokemon is thinking. You want to use quotations. I want to be strong, comma, thought we go. So anything your ultra rare Pokemon is thinking at that moment will go into that box. This is the box that is going to be your thought. You can have one thought, you can have two thoughts, you can have three, doesn't matter. All right. How did they feel? These are the words we talked about last week. They're adjectives. They describe. We go was strong. Felt good about this. We go had courage. We go wanted to be the best. Best. Those are all the things he was feeling inside of himself. Right here on the right of the screen, I'm going to draw a circle around it. We have adjectives to explain how we felt. Feel free to use these. Was it hard? Was the battle tough? Was it a fast battle? Was your ultra rare Pokemon scared? Was he frightful? Was he strong? Was he amazing? 
Was he courageous? And that means he didn't back down from the battle. Now, let's talk about sensory detail. Sensory detail is all of our five senses, our sight, our smell, our taste, our touch, our hearing. You're going to want to use these to take that little moment and tell me. Remember back in my story when I said, Wego could hear the breeze? Ah, he could hear. That is the sense of hearing. There you go. What do you think it feels like when you touch your ultra rare Pokemon to the wild Pokemon when you battle? Did you bounce apart with an electric zing? Ooh, that's a good word, isn't it? Zing? That's a great word to tell me what electric feels like. What did you hear? Maybe you tasted the ultra rare Pokemon. Maybe you didn't. I'm sure you saw him. What did he look like? Remember I told you in mine, he saw a small yellow mouse, all right? Those are the words I use to describe what he saw. What is your ultra rare Pokemon going to see? Will he see a brand new wild Pokemon? Will he see an existing Pokemon? You're going to use specific examples to tell me what happened. All right, let's recap. The very top block here. You're going to want to pick one battling moment. And then you're going to tell me who was there. Your ultra rare Pokemon's going to be there and a wild Pokemon or an existing Pokemon or whoever you choose. You're going to tell me where you were. Were you in the forest? Were you, I don't know, in the city? Anywhere you want to be. Where does your battle take place? Okay, we're going to move over to. What happened? This is where you're going to give me great detail. You're going to tell me all the parts of what happened from the beginning to the end, in order, out of order. It doesn't matter. Tell me every event in this one little battle. Explode it out to be big. Your thoughts right here in this section. Those are the things you're thinking inside your head. What is your ultra rare Pokemon thinking when he goes into battle? And finally over here, how did it feel? Okay, was he strong, courageous? Did he want to be the best? Use all the words I have over here that explain how it felt. Use adjectives. They're right here on the screen. Finally, in the bottom, this is where we're going to talk about senses. Remember, you have five. Pick one, pick two, pick all five. But tell me with a sense, what did you see? How did it hear? Was there a sp specific sensation or feeling you had when you went into battle? Now, guys, right down on the bottom of our screen again is our writing prompt. I'm going to read it to you one more time. Describe your ultra-rare Pokemon's encounter with a wild Pokemon. Will you try to catch it? Will you battle the wild Pokemon? Or does the wild Pokemon run away? All right, we're ready to write, Pokemon writers. You're going to do the first thing you did last week. You're going to write me an amazing, bold beginning of your Pokemon's encounter. You're going to put that on the top of your blank sheet of paper. Or you could write it here in this box as a complete sentence. You're going to, poof, explode your moments into complete sentences and then after them after your bold beginning. Finally, you're going to write an awesome conclusion. Think back to our awesome conclusion. It's taking our bold beginning and rewriting it and adding some details from our exploded moments. You're going to want a clean sheet of paper, a writing utensil. You're going to start with your bold beginning. You're going to take all your details from these boxes, and you're going to write them into complete sentences if you didn't, and you're going to add them after your bold beginning. And then you're going to think up an awesome conclusion. And a great way to do that is to take your bold beginning and rework the words. Add in some details from your sensory. Or add in some details from your thought box. Your thought could be, Wego is happy to be in battle. He thought it would have never ended. And then guess what? When you're done and it's on a clean sheet of paper, pat yourself on the back. You did a great job.
I am excited to see where your ultra rare Pokemons go into battle. I'm excited to see how you explode into great detail your battling moments.